the grounds of Spears School of composed what used to be the lands of the farm of Marshallland. Once the school was established, the name of the grounds became Spears. The woodlands up at the Julesland Road have a name attached to them since the time of the pupils, the school having closed in 1972. And the name there was the Ivy Palace, with large amounts of ivy spread across the ground. The fields around Spears, many of them are still owned by the Spears Trust. In the distance, the woodland there, that woodland forms an old quarry at Broadston. Within the quarry is an extremely large old lime kiln and the lime used to be burnt using poor quality coal. So the lane leading away from broad, broad stone wood going into Gateside is known as Reek Street to this day after the smell. On the hill was Broadston Castle, owned by the Montgomery family, who came to possess large amounts of land in Ireland, who are also regarded as being amongst the founding fathers of Northern Ireland. However, nothing is left now of the castle, although Broadston Hall Farm still stands to one side. In the fields close to Spears, there is the remains of an old cholera pit. In the 1830s, Asiatic cholera came to these parts and killed large numbers of people. They had to be buried in mass graves because they couldn't be taken to the church for burial. And in the distance there was a grave that contained around 120 burials. The high field of Spears one time used for sports, more for training than the actual games themselves, and at some times it was used to grow potatoes, certainly during the First and the Second World Wars, to help the war effort. The large number of trees within Spears, the older ones were planted in around the 1880s, by the Earl of Eggington's head gardener, who was asked to help plan the layout of the grounds. There are many bird boxes within Spears, both placed here by Friends of Spears, the Ranger Service, and also by local people. A number of unusual trees are present here. This tree, number 20 from its tag, is a Camperdown elm. Camperdown being an old estate up in Dundee. And the tree was found as a mutant. Its branches are very twisted. And this was one of the trees um, that dates from the time of the original plantings in the 1880s. This restored path and steps runs down to the tennis lawns. There were two and maybe three tennis lawns here. The steps themselves were restored with the help of community services. The old walled gardens of Spears contained orchards, many fruit trees, unfortunately they've all gone. Here's one of the old arches, the Broadston Arch, through which the teachers could go out onto the lane that once ran round the outer boundary of the old Spears school. And in the wall is a plaque commemorating the work done by one of the volunteers in the restoration of the boundary walls of Spears. It's run for nearly a kilometre. A very unusual yew tree 
hedge runs round the edge of what used to be the Remembrance Garden, which was a rose garden at one time. Over 70 pupils from Spears School as adults died in the First and Second World Wars. So the present memorial to them is a labyrinth with a gate pier that was taken from the field nearby and represents the centre of the labyrinth. The labyrinth, of course, is uh, great fun for the primary school, nursery and other folk who enjoy walking to the centre, touching the stone and making a wish.